back. I'm Wolfgang Reber. This is your third free trick. It's called the string and the straw, and I've chosen it because it shouldn't cost you anything. In most homes, in a drawer somewhere, you'll find a roll of string or thread, or even cotton or even wool, which you can use. And in most kitchens, someone has a straw lying somewhere. If not, you can go to a fast food shop, and I'm sure at the counter you can just take one of those free straws. So we have the straw, and we have the string. I'm being posh today, I'm using the gold thread, and believe me, it's not rigged, I just think it's more visual, you can see it more clearly. First thing you need to do is thread uh, the string into the straw like this. As you do it, it's important that you let your audience see it come out the other end, and as soon as it does, that you pull there, and that everyone can see it is in fact one regular string, and a regular straw that it moves up and down. So there's nothing tricked about that, hence also the normal items. We just get them about the same length. Now what I do is I take it like this and I fold the straw in half like that. So if I fold it in half, you can see the string goes right through there. Even on a close-up, you can see very clearly there it is. I'm going to cut the straw in half. So I'll do it close-up for you, cut right through there like that. So now I'm cutting through the string and the straw. If I separate like that, you can definitely see I've cut through them. Now the great thing is, if I bring the two pieces together like this, and I hold it there, and I just pull here, you see that the other side actually comes back through, and I have a completely normal piece of thread, which has been unhurt, unfazed, uncut, un-anything, and it's true magic. So how did I do that? When I show you how, it's a bit disappointing, but it's a really cool trick because it's everyday items. Let me explain it to you. You need a regular piece of string, and you can generally use any piece of thread. The thicker, the more visual, the more colorful it is, the easier it is for the audience to see. That's an obvious advantage. You also need a straw. The thing with a straw is that you need a straw that has got lines on it like this one. It's got to have a design on it, because the straw is going to be rigged beforehand. There is preparation involved. If you do get a straw like this that's wrapped in a paper wrapper, it's always nice to carefully open the wrapper, pull the straw out, rig it, put it back in. That like really adds genuineness to it. So what you do is you need a standing knife. The important thing with a standing knife is the thing is sharp, because you're going to have to make a slit in the straw. If you're a youngster, do me a favor, ask your parents to cut it for you. If you're an adult, be careful with this stuff. What you're going to do on the straw, you're going to cut it along one of the decorative lines. So I'm going to cut more or less in the middle and leave about a quarter uncut on either side. So if I do this like that, you can see it goes in and not right through, only on the one side. You only want to cut the one side of the straw, I go through there like that. Because the straw is round, obviously it closes again. If I open it up like this, you can clearly see there I've cut through on the one side. And it keeps its shape as per normal. That's the preparation you need to do. Now you take the thread and you thread it through there. The heavier the thread, the easier it goes through. If you're using a piece of wool, you're going to have to suck it through and you might swallow it and I wouldn't suggest that. It also doesn't look that good if you're using your mouth and adding saliva to the whole thing. So use a heavier piece of thread. What I've done is I've actually taken scotch tape around the ends which weights the string a bit and that's much better if you do it like that. Now you put that in there like this and you push it through. When it comes out the other side, all you do is you pull it like that and you show everyone that it can slide up and down here. Now at this point, no one suspects anything. You make sure that you have about equal lengths of rope out from either side. You now pick up the straw. With your finger, if you squeeze, you can feel where the cut is. This time I know it's um, at the bottom. Sometimes it's on top, then you can just roll it over. When you fold the straw in half, you've got to keep your finger there, so as you fold it, that nothing comes out. So it's a case of keeping the, the forefinger or the thumb there, and you just fold it like that, holding everything there in place. When you do it from far, like this, no one really can see anything. And at the moment, the string is threaded right through there. If I hold it in an angle like that, the camera can even pick up the string in there. But remember, that's the bottom. That's what no one sees. Now you're going to cut through there. The preparation for doing it is you tell everyone you're going to put it into your hand. When you do this, you don't initially put it there like that. You cover it. So you not do this, you cover it there. And once it's there, you just give at a quick tug. So in essence, you put it there, you give it a quick tug, and then you lift it up. So when you lift it up now, the 
fairly through the bottom, when you lift it up, your thumb can cover that and you can still show everything clearly on both sides. At this point, you just take the scissors, you tell it one, you're cutting through the string and the straw, and you cut. Obviously, the string is still there. The great part here is the audience is from that side, is you can move this along. So while everyone's looking at you, you can just move that along. Really gives authenticity to the fact that you've cut through everything. Now you bring your hands, or you bring the straw pieces together, you cover everything with your hand, and you simply just pull the one side, and of course the thread comes out completely restored, and everybody goes, oh, you can do such amazing things. All part of the fun. I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to seeing you in the next trick tomorrow.